As I was watching Pokemon stream, thinking about if I should subscribe as a tier 3 sub or not, I started thinking about other things, such as watching girls on TikTok dance to random trending music, but eventually I got bored of that, so I thought to myself, why not play Yasuo for 24 hours? Let me give me some info on my Yasuo background. I've only played him in normals, I have never played him in a ranked game ever, I'm a jungle main, I don't know anything on how to lane, all I know is me hit camps. And the only experience I have is basically watching Mo play, but sometimes he goes 0 and 10. So not really learning Yasuo too much. But yes, I will be attempting to play Yasuo for 20 hours straight, looking at no guides, only using the information I know on basically how to play him. And I'm going to be starting at Diamond 4, and we're going to be seeing where TSM Logan Paul ends up in. Will I end up being Platinum 3, or do I become a Challenger Yasuo main? Again, Yasuo is a champion that requires a lot of skill. So applying this to a jungler who only knows how to play Nunu is going to be extremely hard for this Nunu player, which is me. But did you guys know only 66% of people watching this video are not subscribed? So if you guys end up enjoying the video, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. If not, that's okay too. Now, if this video gets 40,000 likes, I might consider doing a Draven Vein Akali 24 hour challenge. And again, these are champions that aren't junglers, so I do have zero experience on these champions. So yeah, if we get 40,000 likes, I'll do another one of these. But I really don't want to. But I am a man of my ward. So if you guys get 40,000 likes, I will do it, but I really don't want to. Without ado, we're going to be starting this challenge at D4, 43 LP. In this first game, I accidentally queued Jungo. Just because naturally, if I queue up for rank, I probably want to play jungle. So the first game I'm going to play is going to be jungle Yasuo. Everything after this is going to be mid lane, top lane, or ADC or support. But this is how the level one went in my first game. <laughs> we actually ended up getting five kills level one for zero apparent reason. I ended up dying, but that's okay. And just so you guys know, this is how bad at Yasuo I am. missing as you can see today is gonna be an interesting day what the fuck? Dude. how does that mi i'm definitely getting tilted already but finally my first kill happens Yeah, it wasn't that clean, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was decent. For some reason, I thought I could 1v1 this Mordkaiser. Unfortunately, I am 1 in 4, and he is Mordkaiser. Want to know how the next 20 minutes went? It went something like this. Now, you're probably wondering, how did this dude end up with an 80% win rate with only 10 games? Well, let's see what happened in the next nine games. <laughs> yep, that's me losing my 1-0 lead against Cassidy. That's me again, but I finally get my first successful clean Yasuo kill. As you guys can see, after the first game, my Yasuo is actually getting a lot better in just one game. So props to me. Unfortunately, I died like two more times after that. But fortunately, guess what guys? AD gap, top gap, and even jungle gap mid doesn't matter and that's how i got my second win in this next game it went a lot smoother in fact it's actually the first game i went positive i finally had a positive kda although i do die here but it's okay in this game my bot was chain inting hard chain inting but i actually got mid prio because i had the first kill and i got a few kills after so i roamed down bot and this happened
We're actually getting pretty decent at Yasuo. Even though it's a flash Q at standard play, I am starting to figure out that you can do many more with just a few games put into one champion. My very first solo kill without uh, dying this time, so that's a pat on the back. In this next play, my team straight up ints, but I'm like learning that I should spam R in team fights. Even if the play doesn't go good, it's a good limit test to learn to see if I can turn the fight, so I try it. Dude, I'm actually getting good at this champion. My progression on Yasuo is almost getting to Moe's. I don't know if that's a compliment, but it's getting there. You guys remember at the beginning of the video where I kept doing EQs on camps and missing? Well, apparently I learned a lot because this next play is actually incredible for a noob Yasuo player. What the f did I just do? I probably could have just killed the Klista if I didn't flash on the cane. But honestly, for a new Biasso player, that's pretty sick. I didn't do it on purpose. It just happened. So that's pretty cool. We actually ended up winning off that play. And yeah, that's game number four. So anyways, in game number five, you know how Yasuo sometimes goes like 0-20 or like 0-12? Um... Let's just say I got a taste of that experience. Oh, it might be GG. Yes. <laughs> yep. I went zero and twelve. And oh trust me, it happens more. But I do still get an eighty percent win rate. How did I get there? <laughs> I got to find out. I also learned how the Yasuo vs Yon matchup goes quickly. I wanna fight. What? How does my wind wall work? Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe it was this game. Uh, I don't really remember. But I think this Yon actually gets a taste of his own medicine. Okay, you gotta admit, not instantly ulting and changing my CC. That was pretty good. Not gonna lie. But yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. I'm finally getting better. And then I actually finally 1v1. The Yone. Although Echo cleans me up and it kind of sucks, I learned that I'm post a tornado when Yon goes back and I have to follow him where he's, you know, gonna teleport back. I did not know he's unstoppable when he ease back. So uh, that's a lesson learned for Yone versus Yasuo matchup. And also that he can still whoop my ass. Uh, I'm getting kind of confused even though we have the same items. So yeah, it's a little weird to me. At this point, I'm just straight up tilted because I don't know, I just want to rage fight. You know how Yasuo mains are, they just want to fight until they die and do as much damage. And that's what I'm basically doing. Um, yeah. I'm learning like slowly now why Yasuo is just straight up int because they're completely useless if they're not doing damage. They don't have no poke. They have to all in or they basically just are useless. So now, even though I see Yasuo's go 0 and 10, I can understand why they're going 0 and 10. Of course, you just can't control it. Like, as Yasuo, I just want to do something. I don't want to sit back. I want to fight. Like, that's the whole point of playing Yasuo. So I'm giving in to my human instincts and just 
perma fighting basically and as you can see uh perma fighting doesn't really work but it makes me feel good because i'm doing damage and i'm happy kind of eventually we get elder dragon and we got one last team fight and then this happens Yep, I was a sacrificial lamb for my team to win the game, ending in 9 kills and 13 deaths. Not a bad score. In this next game, I actually played Bot Yasuo for the first time, but let's just say I got very, very, very angry at this Nautilus after I saw this. I was so freaking angry that eventually I was one in six at some point. Yep. I started limit testing. I started all inning. I just wanted to fight and that's basically how I did it. That's, you know, that's like the worst way you can play Yasuo. I mean, hopefully the other side of my team can win, but I want to play aggressive and I don't care about anything else. I want to have fun. And yeah, I'm starting to be a Yasuo man. You can tell. But yeah, I was very angry at this Nautilus after I saw him try and flash auto and failed it this game was winnable up until mid game because they had jimmy and we all know how that ends up and we have udir yeah our late game is pretty bad we did end up losing unfortunately but in this next game i get solo killed so you know what i do when i'm angry i perma push and i go roam uh that's what i learned although that's because i'm kind of angry that i got solo killed and i don't know what to do in lane eventually a river fight does break out i miss a q but it's okay um and i just try and perma fight hopefully you win and guess what yep you win although i thought the mf would die a bit earlier so i kind of stopped autoing her but now i'm 2-1 because mid difference but yeah i mean this is my eighth game of yasuo i'm getting kind of better but i mean not too better <laughs> although looking at the fight with cassiopeia i don't know if i could have played it any better um it was just very close me and uh, Cassiopeia eventually trade back a few kills, and um, this happens. Dude, all I want to do as Yasuo is just kill everything in my sight. Like, I just want to hit things. And it's making me kind of stupid. Eventually though, I do get a solo kill on this Cassio, and it's pretty good. Watch this. So, I think she's down in like, kills, but for some reason she can actually fuel me quite a bit. And it's very interesting because I know I'm ahead, but she has Seeker's Arm Guard. But I guess I didn't buy at all, so that makes a lot of sense. Eventually, we do win because don't go gap as well as bot gap. So, yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. But obviously, I went 9 and 10 and um, uh, I mean, this, I don't know. I'm inting a lot, but I still have a really good win rate. Like, I've only lost maybe twice. Out of seven games so i must be doing something right right in this next game we scrapped level one everyone all in for zero reason After that, um, yeah, this game was basically over because the enemy team entered level one. 
It literally made no sense, but okay, I'm down with it. And yeah, I mean, dueling set. Uh, my hit point was a little bit low, but obviously I'm gonna win eventually, right? But I'm also learning that this champion gets covered by basically everything in this game. It's really good into ranged champions like Misfortune and 80 carries because of his wind wall, but against Pantheon and Rek'Sai and a bunch of champions like Counter Melee Champions, Jax, Fiora, this champion is straight up useless. It's only good into ranged champs, and now I'm like seeing why everyone dies on Yasuo and like feeds, but like, I mean, this champion just sucks, I think. I'm starting to conclude this champion sucks, which also means you have to be really good at this champion to make it viable, or it's completely coin flip. But this next game, you'll see some very interesting stuff. I figured out a combo that I never thought I would be able to do, but eventually it happened. Unfortunately, I'm gonna die a bunch of times to Jin before that happens, so uh, you'll have to wait a bit. Eventually, I stop chain ending and I pull off this. Somehow I'm just like starting to figure out I can outplay noobs who int into me and I think the only way to play Yasuo is if people start inting into me. So after seeing that, I think I'm going to try and do that a little bit more. It seems pretty fun, but yeah, I'm like starting to understand that everyone just has to into me and I just win. Also this glitch where my Q gets interrupted when I get CC'd by something is really annoying and I don't know why they don't fix this but finally after this it's the time you've been waiting for the thing I see on every Yasuo montage you guys should win this now man that was so good that was my holy sh guys I'm getting so good at Yasuo Okay, so we kind of got two kills, right? And well, we do win off it, but yeah, I think I could have done it in a better situation, but like that's the only situation I saw it. I saw the play, I went for it, I said screw it, and I did it. And I guess we kind of won off it? I'm not too sure, but you know, it's always situational. In this next game, I eventually got solo killed because I don't know what the lane, but I just get bored and I eventually saw a play a bot lane, and guess what? I'm going to roam and gank my ball lane. Woohoo! At this point, I wanted to go top lane because why not? And I saw Cassiopeia. And you know what I said to myself? I'm going to 1v1 her. I'm not sure what to do when I 1v1 her, but um, I'm supposed to dodge the ult and I learned that. But eventually this does happen and this game became a lot easier because we do get Baron after it. Uh. This game was really hard, but thank God this Hecarim is a dirty little enter. And yeah, we actually do win off that, thankfully. This game's really hard. Their team comp's really OP. We do have Gragas Yasuo, but I mean, <laughs> they have Hecarim Castle. They have a lot of things, but yeah, every lane basically won. And that's how I got an 80% win rate on Yasuo. There's a lot of deaths, I will admit. And my team actually almost carried a lot of games. But I'll say like, even when my team was winning, okay, sometimes I would int just for fun, but um, I didn't do anything stupid. Like there's a lot of fights I didn't show that I didn't take because they were just bad and my team maybe inted and when my team was winning and we're going to win i didn't really like hard int you know i didn't make the game harder for my teammates i basically wasn't being an idiot with my team's lead i sometimes didn't get a lead but yeah i mean you can tell a lot of the times the enemies were actually just straight up inting into us and that's what diamond players usually do they uh don't really know better everyone like to die a lot and fight 
and pick really bad fights. Sometimes they pick really good fights, but most times they will sometimes randomly end. Unfortunately, this next game, I was against Karthus. I didn't know what to do level one. I hard entered it. I got poked level one Q when I tried to go for CS and I took a lot of damage. I couldn't lane. And yeah, um, didn't really know what to do. I didn't know how to farm safely. It was tremendously hard. And you know, when I start inting, I start inting. At this point, it's been 11 games. I don't want to play Yasuo anymore. I'm really hating playing this. I am tremendously exhausted of playing Yasuo over and over. This way having an 80% win rate, just now around like 70, but like even then, it's incredibly taxing for me to be playing Yasuo and some so, some of my plays not working as they are and immense concentration on some of these games because I am playing Yasuo. I kind of want to try my best, right? But it's getting to me. Even if I get a solo kill in lane or like a double kill, I'll just somehow throw it away because I'm playing an incredibly aggressive champion. And also, I don't know how to play on Yasuo. I haven't read any guides or anything. I'll eventually get ganked and just lose my lead. I don't know what to do with my lead on Yasuo. Um, and, you know, when the enemy mid laner is just free farming with me and sitting at tower, I get tremendously bored and I don't know what to do at that point. So after like 12 games or so, I'm getting incredibly frustrated and just kind of bored. Especially if I have to play the game properly, because the only thing I want to do is perma fight and to outplay. That's why you play Yasuo, to outplay. You don't play it to farm mid and just catch waves and like just take chickens once in a while or something. I don't know. I'm playing Yasuo to outplay people, not to be up 20 CS. I hate that a lot. Mid lane is a boring role. I want people to fight me and I can outplay. That's the only reason playing Yasuo is fun. But I will say I'm very unsatisfied if uh, perma fighting doesn't happen. And that's why I like the chain int, because I like to try and outplay, even if I go 0 and 12. Unfortunately for you guys, I didn't go 0 and 12 this game. Oh, and also, this Caitlyn was like 14 and 0. She was giga fed. This was actually one of the games I actually popped off in, and you know, it was pretty good from my side. There's obviously a few things I can't do, um, such as. Alting and then air blading, if that makes sense. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, it's where you are and then you EQ a minion or something and you hit them with the blade. I can't do that because it's like an advanced combo, obviously. And I only have like 13 games at this point. But yeah, I mean, this game is going really well. My Nunu is playing around me and so is the Malphite, and I'm feeling very happy. It's actually going awesome. But then finally, I get a pentakill. So obviously I'm not feeling it right now this way of my feelings for this Malphite. Um, but if I were feeling like myself back then, I'd probably say, I'd probably call him something like stupid effing gorilla looking fucking ass, f stupid fucking rock formation dog f diglet piece of sh You know what I'm talking about. But I don't feel that way. So you know what? Good job Malphite. I love you to the bits of my heart. And finally, this is the game where I couldn't take it anymore. Because my jungler made me so angry, I didn't want to play. I didn't want to play mid lane anymore. I didn't want to deal with people, basically, who just griefed. Like the Nautilus, I could take one. Uh, I forgot what happened the second time, and I'm pretty sure it was my fault. But I blame it on someone else. But the third strike is when this Hecarim, who I know if I was on Hecarim, I would have won this game. But because I'm playing Yasuo, I, bas <laughs> I basically. Just, just, just watching him just wanted, made me so angry because I knew I would have won the game if I were him. Here, I'll show you guys why. Oh yeah, and also the Mord entered, but that's a different story. Basically, I'm like, you know, trying to limp test, see what happens if I fight this Katarina who's giga fed, by the way. Uh, I don't know how my win wall works, but I think at the cap matchup, you only do it when she starts ulting or like somehow get behind the wall. It's so tricky. Like there's a bunch of things I don't understand with Yasuo, right? So but with that being said, the Hecarim 
is basically splitting bot because he got very tilted. You know those diamond junglers who just have an ego that are just stupid as hell. Yeah, this is one of those Hecrims. Um, they don't play to win. They play to ego. And yeah, it's really annoying. But yeah, I mean, it's just like typing a bunch and not even focusing on game. That's why I don't like him. But yeah, I mean, that's why me and Mordkaiser kind of have to face check to stop him. And it doesn't really go that well, obviously, right? We want to stop him from baroning, but we literally can't. Yeah, there's just basically a bunch of fights that were going on and they're forced. I wasn't there. Random potential 4v5s, etc. Um, the hacker is also supposed to peel the Katarina Ramis, all that people for the Twitch because the Twitch is giga fed. Uh, but he's just kind of diving in, hoping it, it goes well and someone follows up. But like no one can follow up. We need to peel our 17-3 Twitch and like, yeah, I mean, it's just random forced fights that don't really go too well. And it's hard for me to do much. But at this point, I was just so done playing gas so it didn't matter about this game like it's been like basically a lot of hours put into playing gas and cues and dodging because all ad comps and yeah it's been a long day so that's it i attempted to play yasuo for 24 hours it's tremendously annoying to go through that and just playing league in general for 24 hours makes me want to like destroy myself and I ended up going like a 69% win rate on Yasuo, so it's not bad, but I don't think I ever want to try that again. My head is kind of boom from it. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me trying to learn Yasuo, which is the fun part. And at one point, I think I capped on how much I uh, could process Yasuo brain power into me. It's much harder than I thought, and I now realize why people int on Yasuo because it's boring to not do anything and play safe while your team either gets demolished or they start carrying. It is incredibly boring. So I understand now. But if you play Yasuo and go 0 and 10, you still suck anyways. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.